This is how I found out my childhood best friend was a ghost. I grew up with a girl named Katie Wells. I lived on a farm and Katie lived with an old woman named Irene in the next house over. Katie and Irene weren't related, but whenever I asked Katie about her, she would just change the subject. It seemed like they never got along because they never talked to each other. Katie seemed really sheltered and I thought it was because Irene wouldn't let her do much. Whenever I would talk about boys or a new celebrity crush I had or even a new popular TV show, she never knew what I was referring to. A while later, my mom ended up quitting her job and working from home, so she didn't take me to Katie's house to have Irene watch me anymore. I remember wanting to go over to see Katie, and I asked my mom a few times, but she always said no. I eventually made new friends, and me and Katie grew apart. A couple years went by, and I started to realize I never saw Katie around anymore. She used to talk about her dad, Pat, a lot, so I assumed she went to live with him. I saw Irene outside one day, and I asked her how Katie was doing and where she'd been. However, she just looked at me like I was crazy. She told me that she had no idea who Katie was and that no one has ever lived with her. I told Irene about how we used to play together at her house and she gave me a weird look and asked me if I was feeling okay. This is when things got strange. The more details I told Irene about Katie, the more she looked at me like I was mental. She assured me it was just me and her in the house when my mom would drop me off. I was shocked. I went home and asked my mom about Katie and she gave me the same confused look Irene just gave me and told me she didn't know what I was talking about. I couldn't believe it. How was I the only one who remembered her? I was starting to think I was going insane. It even crossed my mind that maybe Katie was an imaginary friend that I made up when I was little. However, I vividly remember playing with her every time I went over. I thought about it for days and I couldn't get it out of my head. The mystery kept me up at night and I even dreamt about my old childhood friend. I decided to do some research on Irene's house and my heart sank to my stomach when I realized what happened. I discovered the first person to ever own the house was a man named Patrick Wells back in 1941. I tried to find anything I could on Katie, but nothing came up. I remember Katie talking about her dad, Pat, when I was younger. It finally made sense how she never knew about any recent events I would bring up and why her and Irene would never communicate. I realized that I was the only one who saw Katie because she wasn't alive. I had been playing with a spirit all that time growing up.